Hello, it's Marion Stewart, and today I'm talking about menopause mindset. So often I hear people say, you can think your way through menopause, or it's all in your mind, and women feel really bad when they hear other people saying that, because they feel so bad anyway, and then they feel worse when they hear that they should be able to think their way through it. And I think that there are some therapies that help, so cognitive behavior therapy has been shown to help, and mindset does play a big part, but I think you have to get it in perspective. And so that's why I really wanted to focus on this today so that you really understand. I think there are tools that you can do to help yourself, like cognitive behavior therapy, but you shouldn't expect that that's going to help you to overcome the whole of your menopause because there are things going on in your body that absolutely need to be addressed. So for example, if you had a broken leg and you had a big plaster cast on it, everyone will be helping you. They will be coming to your aid and assistance and asking if they can do things to help you. Because we go through menopause and it's got such negative connotations and we're so afraid to talk about it because we don't want to be viewed as old and past it, we don't really get help at all. In fact, we many women say they feel invisible and they do feel old before their time. In fact, some of them feel very angry that they, they don't feel old enough to be put out to pasture. They don't feel old enough to be menopausal. And so it's really understanding what's going on and also choosing people to help you through your menopause who've got a very positive mindset. Because research shows that if your team have got a can-do attitude, then you'll overcome your symptoms and you'll sail out the other end of menopause feeling really good. But if you go and see someone who says, well, it's all part of the aging process, what do you expect? You know, you're getting on now. Then, and you buy into that, then you're just gonna feel terrible. So it's really being alert to the fact that your mindset can determine the kind of journey that you have through menopause. And certainly I know, because I've been helping women for over 27 years to overcome their symptoms, we do need to get their nutrients into an optimum range. We do need to help to get their hormones functioning normally. And those kind of things help your mindset because when you've got a shortage of nutrients, for example, you start to see the world through different colored lenses. So you start to look at things in a dark way and you maybe you have mood swings and maybe you even experience depression. But once you get your nutrients back into an optimum range, the whole thing changes and you start to see the, the world through more rose colored tinted lenses so that you see things in a much more positive way. So in other words, a problem that looked like a mountain before looks much more like a molehill. So learning how to meet your needs is one thing you need to do. Learning how to consume naturally occurring estrogen little and often will fool your brain into thinking you've got normal circulating estrogen again. And so you have a better chance of feeling well. And exercising, doing some amazing aerobic dancing or skipping or whatever it is, take your dog out for a, a brisk walk will help to release those lovely chemicals, those endorphins in your brain that make you feel better. So lots of things that you can do to help yourself and to improve your mindset. And maybe have some affirmations as well. So when you get these negative voices in your head telling you everything's doom and gloom, you've got these lovely little affirmations that tell you that everything's okay and that you're gonna get through this. And really make sure you're well supported, whether it's by professionals or friends or family, and just admit to going through this transition. After all, it is a transition just like pregnancy. It isn't the beginning of the end of life as you knew it, as many women feel it is when they start going through menopause. If you learn to meet your needs, you can just get through this in a matter of a few months, come out the end of it feeling better than you can remember. So lots of things to think about, but mindset should be uppermost in your mind, thinking about how you can deal with this in a more positive way. I have every month, I have several virtual menopause classes that you can come to, to learn more about what's going on in your body, because it's really important to know what you're facing and then some tips 
to overcome your symptoms, no matter what your symptom sets are. And then I answer questions live as well. So come and meet me, come and meet my team. And if you want some help, we have our 14 day program and the boot camp. There's just lots of different ways that you can get help. You don't need to go on suffering. So put a smile on your face. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. You can leave your symptoms behind and start to recover and feel better than you can remember.